What is up everyone? Welcome to After 5, and we're gonna be jumping back into Franbo. Last episode, we committed murder. We killed the double twins. And now, we have to save our cat. So let's begin. Alright, so we killed these cunts of a hunt. Let's go get the fucking cat. Alright, um... We got the key to save the kitty. Meow. Alright, Mr. Midnight. Let's get him. Alright. Uh, yeah, so. Use. What is it, Fran? <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? I don't know. I have to look around. I'll be waiting. Hurry up! All right, fuck you, cat. Why am I having a cat? All right, um... Keyhole, 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 keyhole. Keyhole, keyhole. Uh, keyhole. Wait. The mirror! There's a keyhole in the mirror. Oh, ha, ha. Let's do this. <gasps> oh, the key was for the keyhole. What's that? A puzzle? A mirror? But why is my reflection not here? Alright. What the fuck is this bullshit? Alright. Oh, I see. Okay. Sounds like it's time, but it's not. It's just because of the... Oh shit, hold on. not spinning, so it must be not the right one. Alright. Oh, okay, so that's the right one. Shit. Not spinning. Still not spinning. Maybe this guy's the right one. Um, fuck. Okay, hold on. I'm not as stupid. Alright. Oh, shit. That was a total accident. Oh my god. Alright, I gotta get this cunt flap over here. Uh, hold on. That did absolutely nothing for me. Ah, god damn it. I can figure this out. I'm not that stupid. Come on, Alex, you can do it. The whole world is riding on you. Um, 
hold on. Let's do a ring around the Rosie. Whoever designed this shit's a fucking cunt, I can tell you that. improvements we're getting there I have discovered the fountain of youth and we shall proceed all right we're getting there oh he's doing it oh god he's doing it oh god someone hold my baby oh, fuck fucking cunt all right ring around Rosie Fucking cunt. Wait a minute. <laughs> Bam! Shabash Shalom, motherfucker! What the fuck? Dude. Oh shit, what the fuck is this shit? Alright. Yeah. Sister Promise. We Clora Mira. Bahumalit, I don't know what the fuck that is, promise to revenge the unfair destiny it were decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and will always hate each other. Nothing will change that, but now, with our bodies attached to each other, <clears throat> but now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever, and the dies. The strongest will live forever, and the weakest will die. Mother must die. Oh shit! Oh, there's the key. Wait, medicine. Medicine. I wonder what's the difference. Do they have our medicine? <gasps> what if they were experimented on by the Germans, or mm, sorry, not Germans, the Nazis? That we were. And the concentration camp, I mean, asylum with. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty. All right, now hold on. Wrong person. <laughs> it worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out and let me hug you. Oh, tears. That's so sad. Cat bites your. <laughs> Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, friend, my good friend. Oh, my dear, we have to get out of here. Yes, let's go. 
All right, down in the tunnel we go. All right, now I got a cat following me. That this picture really get bothers me. All right, let's go though. All right, wait. I'm gonna go this way. This body's still sitting here. Maybe that was the door I made. Now it disappeared. Well, how the fuck do they get in and out? Ooh, they jump out this window over here. Where's my kitty? Proof! The cat isn't real. It didn't come with me. Alright, maybe maybe the toad has something for us. Alright. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. This is perfect! Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But now, nah, but, sorry. <clears throat> but how will you get out of here? There is no boat. Uh, I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I am too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry me both. Oh, <clears throat> ah. It would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. All right. Um. All right. My sister's trying to catch me, but I ran away. All right, same kind as before. All right. Uh, what was the baking soda used for? I haven't used baking powder to make dough bigger and beautiful. Uh, oh, we, we killed the toad. Yes, let's just stop the toad. Killing the toad is the success of this mission. Yeah. Maybe we can get some salt, pull, you know, pour all over the, the frog and no salt. You're telling me this, this, these cons don't have salt? No salt. Oh, they do have flour. Oh. Oh. Uh, Use torches on him. Maybe we light him on fire. Eh. Can't be done. All right. Wait. Idea. We throw baking powder into the water. Throw baking powder on the toad. Wait. Hold on. Does that say size matters? I'm pretty sure it says size matters on that. Fucking. Take this toad. It may help. I am not a bakery bun. But you are slimy and soft like dough. No. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. What the fuck? Quick. Someone hand me a syringe. Put baking water and some dough together. Inject in my muscles. Instant steroids. Get jacked in seconds with bacon powder. Oh god. It worked. Hold on. It worked. It really did. I'm so big, I feel gorgeous. Great. Let's go home. Come, Mr. Midnight. Shafran, I only have one complaint. The giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. All right. If he tries anything, I will scratch him. Yeah, he... You see the size of this fucker? You think just a little scratch will get him? Holy fuck. That's okay. But try not to hurt him so much while we were sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are th are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it it was yours. Oh, it's my photo from before. And this book was with it too. Oh, um, okay. I didn't have a book. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I'd lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh well, take the book as a gift. It it was always healthy. Wait. <clears throat> oh well, take the book as a. Give. 
Oh well, take the book as a gift. It'll always healthy. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. What the fuck? This bitch. Alright, let's go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, look at me go. Frogger champion. Oh, did I fuck up? I fucked up. <gasps> Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I fucked up. <gasps> Jesus is real. The toad Jesus, that is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I fucked that up. I got too antsy. My bad. Jesus, take the toad. Make him jump in the water. Boop. All right, let's see if we can make it this time. Do, 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 do. All right, we're gonna do a double jump. Bye. Oh, oh. What? What, you cunt flapper? That was totally on fucking land. See, giving the toad bacon soda was not the hottest idea. So apparently I'm not good at this. I'm slowly finding this out. It's a fucking frogger. I should be able to do this, right? Alright. Alright, there we go. Sweet. Don't have to do another episode of this shit. We're in the holy land. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. It's like the Terminator of Toads. Love, 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 love. Well, it's time to go home! I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Fran. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Wrong cat voice. Fran. Fran. Uh, hold on. Fran. Francisco Bay. I forgot how to do the cat now. I'm gonna give it a... Fran, what should we do now? <laughs> the fucking little girl's voice. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Did you see the sky? It's dawn and really... S it's, it's dawn and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Take those. Take those, take those, take those. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh dear, a baby skeleton. I guess they didn't make it in time. Well, no fucking shit. They're fucking dead. No! Not these fuckers again. I thought I was done with their voice. Sir, are you the curious insects that got stuck? Oh, they're, they're fucking dead. Oh, the bridge is here. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fron, come on. We have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm afraid of heights. Mm, I can go first, all right? Then you follow me. All right, kitty. You're, you are so sweet. I'll be right behind you. It just because the cat goes in front of you doesn't mean like, like, you heavy ass hoe. You can already already hear the shit breaking underneath your ass. This ten year old who hasn't eaten in three days needs to stop eating for five. Right. Fron, wait. Oh, something's standing there. Oh shit! It's Cthulhu. So that was totally on the cat's fault for telling me to wait. Oh my dear, I can't hold on anymore. I don't want to die. Meow. You won't die, my friend. Come on. You can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. I got you. Fron! No. 
The fucking cat. Oh my god, he put him through the table. He's broken in half. The love of mankind. Don't be af don't be afraid, Fran. We're always fold. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. What the what 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 what? Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. What is this, like fucking Naruto all of a sudden? Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here? Please. You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. She don't want your ass. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will soon understand. Yeah, you fucking... You have to wait for the allies to come. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please, please. What the fuck? Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Oh, oh look at that pill. Take the pill, take the pill. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to give me a red pill and a blue pill and ask if I want to join the Matrix. I, I'm not too sure. Oh, well. And uh, now Fran Bo's streaking. Her clothes are everywhere, so... And there's a holy light, and this is not good. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? Oh, shit. She's naked, that's where she is. One of front shoes. Yeah, that's her shirt. Does that have a fucking face? Ugh, what an. Oh, hold on, it's him. Ugh, what an ugly tree. I'll scratch you, you evil thing. Kitty, kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran? My darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get the fuck up. You got no legs and you got no arms. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear. You have become a tree. What? But how? Oh my dear. This is the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He will always come back. I think I remember him from the night. The night Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't... I can't carry you all the way home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. I just feel like this is like a romance novel all of a sudden. But I feel so weak. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, me and hula. Kaliko, kaliko, igaruga, bazagamba, hula, niya. Hook a dog a dog of Monty. Wait, 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 wait. Poke. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hula, hula, hula. Stop it. I'll scratch you. Hula, hurramana, kidney. What are they saying? Oh, my kitty. Why is this happening to us? Hula. Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hula, hula, Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I, I can see what I do for all. All right. Wait, hold on. You stop attacking my friend, Carrot. Oh, he is a carrot. What are you? My an old vegetable sitting, but where right, he doesn't even say. Oh, there's the purse. All right. That's a cunt. That is a con. Oh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. Alright, uh. Yeah. 
grab the purse, motherfucker. I got the purse only because I'm the best. Warm nine hunka ala ramen up. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> He's stealing the motherfucking tree, Fran. Huh? Where are you taking me, sir? Vegetable? They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. They could be possibly trying to rape you, also, now they realize you're a vegetable. Hika Roma Ippo! Don't be afraid, my Fran. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Galoopa! Galoopa! Galoop! I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Chapter 3 Vegetative State. This is not a very exciting episode, I can tell you that. It's man boy monska bazia ni al onma. Arushma at the. God damn it, they need a fucking language. Put this shit in English for me, please. Gorska Zorro. It's Zorro from the Mexican trilogy. Welcome, creature, my. What the fuck? This entire time he could have been speaking fucking English. Welcome, creature. My name is Zor. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. Yes, thank you. Same. My good friend, Ride, told me that you showed him an illustration. With four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my friend if he scared you. Yeah, the fucking carrot was trying to stab me. We have never seen a human like looking like a tree before. Help me please, I'm a girl. Oh, no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Oh my god, he's gonna rape her. There he goes again with the hocus pocus. Oh, he's putting his seed all over her. She is... She just gave birth, and he just ripped the baby off. And he's now giving it to the king. Let me see... You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, oh, your name is Fran. You're the girl with passion for life. I see great love towards the little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. Can you see all of that in a seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. What did you do with the seed? That was my child. This is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It is too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than an absence of love. Then I am definitely dead inside. Once you feel love, you die. Oh, sorry. Once you can't feel love, you die. In Actually, I was right the first time. Once you feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. This is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go home? Yes, I do. Show us the way back home. I, um, yes, I do. 
Show us the way back home, I implore you. Uh, I have a question. Are you the king? Haha! -ha, you are hilarious! Yes, I am the king. The king of Istoria. I don't know how to pronounce that. Fuck that shit. Oh, what an honor. Your Highness, by the way, I leave. I like your leaves. They are pretty. King Sir, please help me. Will you help me? Why is this a need of you? Why is this a need of you going home so great? The sea told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel the body someone cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it is your own risk to walk through it. Really? Thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first. You must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Oh, now you... He's giving you another one of his... What the fuck was that? Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But now your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me. Do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. You sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. <clears throat> I didn't. I, mm, I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrance and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. I just gave this guy a different accent on the fly. Look at that. You'll do you'll do fine, kitty. And yes, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes! But I don't know... Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it is time for the procedure! Are you afraid of heights? A little yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Is that a bar bouncer? Holy fuck. Where are you taking me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. What the fuck? What the fuck? You just pulled me out of my pot. The fuck? Oh my god. No more reading. Just give me a pause point. Pause point! The fuck are you? Good day, my name is Plantorius, and I am the doctor today at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king has sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Give me a fucking pause point, damn it.
Oh, and it continues. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Volkas created it. It was here, the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. All right. So when do I get my arms and legs back? Oh, right. We'll wait until the water purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. I don't want to talk. I'm getting tired of talking. All right, hmm. So who is the Volkas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? Here is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly his heart was broken, and he was all alone. But he came to hysteria, and his blood made this water pink. This is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, didn't know about other realities. And how is how is that you are here? What brought you to hysteria? My kitty and I were on the way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him, but then we fell. The big monster that followed us did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But yes, doctor. Do you know why I became a tree? Yes! Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran, you wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've ever seen a human use a tree as a cry cryless. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow. Pl Plantorius, sir. How? I didn't even know I was doing anything. You really don't know what you were... You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you travel to Assyria, you open a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, an unexpected creature will also enter reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And this is the only, and there's only one who can, who would like to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. Real original name, guys. I can't see this happening again. I can't. Don't be sad, doctor. I'm sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice, and you don't have to, and you, oh, little girl, you're so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Yes, doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran, from Mysteria? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical and can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. Wow, that just turned dark real quick. Yes, my parents were murdered. Can you fix that, doctor? You're the best doctor I've ever had. You're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Deer! But he was an evil old man. An old man? I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Thank fucking Christ. Let's put a pause to this shit. Oh my god. Nothing but dialogue and dialogue and dialogue. Here we are again. Show Zar the king what a nice austerity... I'm not going to pronounce that. You become... Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Everyone, and on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Franbo. Because this bullshit went way too motherfucking long. See you guys later. See ya!